Cass, uh, Paz is just the greatest, isn't he? Paz is crazy. Mm. But he's excellent at the same time. Best of luck, though, yeah. to averages. I mean, very honest uh, interview there, saying from Faz that they are the clear favourites. I don't know if, like, they are the favourites. I wouldn't say it's, oh, my God, these guys are likely to dominate us. I think that this is going to be an amazing final, to be honest. Yeah. I just uh, hope that you know, averages are able to pull it off. Even in practice, it's not been amazing for them. But uh, I think if they're, if they're able to keep their head together and don't get too stressed, then I think it'll be Right. It'll like be I said in the last fine. map that we, we got to see, I'm glad we got to see it because up until now, we haven't really been able to get an eyeball on the averages, and this mm -hmm. was our first chance. And their strategy you know, worked great with like 20 assumptions built into it. And any one of those that goes away... We're going to have to see how they react to it. Mm, no, yeah. Exactly. I think um, uh, Mitoto is looking at uh, rankings that are coming up next. So let's have a look what we've got at the moment. So uh, are these in terms of points, points yeah. at, uh, yeah. at the moment? The thing is, this could change up quite a lot based on the different matchups that we've got uh, going on because Break and Foundam are going to be playing next, which mm -hmm. means one of them is going to go up in points. Ghost Squad, uh, I believe, is going to be going against... I might be wrong, but I think it's Don't Let Zorak Pick. Uh, and then iGamers... Oh, no, iGamers are going against uh, Don't Let Zorak Pick. And then I think Ghost Squad are going against one of the guys that are below them. I think it's uh, anything is impossible. They'll be, f they'll be fighting versus... Uh, I'm not sure. I think Crazy's Cartel maybe versus a Deliberate Murder uh, on top of that. But Crazy's Cartel actually getting themselves a lot of points. Ten points for them. Yeah. Of course, you see averages and not that bad. Uh, shooting up at the top. Um, but uh, I'm going to start finding the server for this finals so that uh, we can get ourselves ready yeah, for averages yeah. versus meltdown. And and of course, the, the spread on the points is much, much tighter than it was yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, we'll, we'll be listening in for results for, uh, for a break as well. It'll be kind of important. But uh, we're going to go ahead and get in a server now mm -hmm. for what is effectively our final today. Yeah. And, yeah, again, I, I have to go back to the Ghost Squad. Uh, we get to see the averagers um, technically uh, in the lead in points right now because the Ghost Squad took that map. And that's true, but they'll be pretty close behind. But you know, either way, it, it is the winner. Whoever takes two maps is going to be the CTF champions right. at the moment. I really hope that uh, uh, averages are going to be able to take at least one. So we've got Japanese Castles as map number one picked by averages. Uh, Ironworks from Meltdown, map number two. And Infinity as the type, well, the definite third <laughs> map potential tiebreaker, of course. Okay, so let's uh, let's set things up as the players start to get themselves onto the server. Um, I'm trying my best not to revert back to saying what I've been saying for the last 25 minutes, uh -huh. but it's a massive shock for it everyone, really. It is, yeah. Has been uh, we, like we to, well really we knew like walking to into today that there was going to be a lot of surprises yeah we we just didn't know which ones they would be so it's been more competitive today than it has been yesterday absolutely I, I feel like yesterday absolutely. was all about um, the top two teams mm -hmm. I think deliberate murder and meltdown is it was all about them I think since the beginning I think we kind of knew that that's right. who was going to end up uh, versus each other at the end but there was a lot of different teams today that could have gone to the end and actually averages was not at the top of my list not at all no. so. Uh, and even Ghost Squad getting some really good games in. I don't want to say they were at the top of my list either, but they were someone that could be making top five. They said top three. I think top five may be more realistic for them, given their performance beating uh, Meltdown in a map and uh, Foundam as well. Mm -hmm. But um, I think I've seen some comments online. The, Americans, uh, the American teams break and Foundam with that drama, the player issues, and that just, I think that put them a step behind in terms it, of practice was, for normal. Part of it was the drama itself, the other part of it was how late in the game it happened and how many roster changes you had, you know, directly prior to the event. Yeah. Um, and then add on top of that, the fact that some of that strife means that, you know, this team will not scrim with this team and this team will not scrim with that team and who, who's scrimming with who at that point? Well, that's yeah. really strange that they don't want to do that against each other because sure, you might give each of you, both of you a bigger advantage, but you're getting better practice at the right. same time. You know, I, I, I'd like to think that it's not just about winning as an American team, but making sure the Europeans don't win. I, honestly, I, I don't know if that's ever been the, the focus from these guys. You know, these guys mm -hmm. definitely... Um, are in it for, and I don't mean this in a bad way, they're in it for themselves. Yeah. You know, they're not here to rep the country. Be. I think that's the best <laughs> way, really. Um, you know, the Chileans and Argentinians are, are definitely here to do that, and I, I think they have. I, yeah. I think they've done a fantastic job of that. But the people who, um, who we were used to seeing here, mm -hmm. uh, they're here to, to win it for themselves. Yeah, yeah. for sure. And uh, hopefully, well, to hang 
and Rafa, despite not being in the final set, are both massive contenders for the duel. You know, mm -hmm. De Hang has been in the last two finals in the duel. Uh, Rafa, he, I mean, he's due to win because Cypher won <laughs> last and he won before. It's then, about that they, time. They, they, yeah. they, 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 they've only <laughs> Rafa and Cypher wins, so <laughs> it, they should be getting it. But um, And then Tox, of course, I mean, he's going to be feeling good now. He's in the finals of the CTF. He won the finals of the TDM. He just needs to keep feeling good. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I, ho I hope they don't decide to celebrate too early. At least talk. Yep. The other, the, yep. His teammates yep. are going to be celebrating behind him. They've already. Sparty's actually got a, like an embargo. Like he cannot celebrate anything. Yeah. Until Sunday. <laughs> yeah. In that way. Um, um, I'm just going to let the players know that we are ready, and hopefully we'll be able to start this game um, in just a moment. So we're going to be seeing Japanese castles up here first. Um, I, I was so happy to see some of these, you know, kind of classic moments in both uh, Ironworks and Jap castles today. Yeah. Uh, you know, some of the the flag trade offs, some of the stalemates, and some of the item stealing, some of the, some of that, and actually some of the early runs that we did, um, especially Ghost Squad, they 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 did play different. You know, it was, we were kind of wondering that coming mm -hmm. in. It was like, are they going to have like a completely different sort of mindset for some of these maps? And they kind of did. Yeah. yeah. The thing I didn't really translate through every single map, so that was kind no. Of I mean, main floor. just because it's it's different doesn't mean it'll yeah. work. Uh, averages, um, though, I've yeah. really thought about their strategies a lot. Mm -hmm. I don't like the way they were playing the power ups on yeah. the spider crossings. But we'll, we'll see how they clash against each other now. It was like, the okay, stiff, the one it's 14.32. It's time for Sparty to attack. Yeah. You know, they they oh. were really precise. But here we go, guys. We are getting on with the finals here of the CTFA on day two of QuickCon 2050 Trying Masters Tournament. I am on Zyrinx to start with as he's going to be getting the rocket launcher. And are they going to be pushing us three? Well, he's standing back a little bit as it looks like averages are going to be the ones to get past onto their side of mid a bit sooner. It looks like Noctis is already setting up here, looking for anybody to come through this border. And good comms there. He knew you can hear the pitter-patter of little feet there. But he's going to be able to take down Wins midair, getting a nice railgun for his trouble. Zyrinx is there already as well. His mass control is ridiculous, being able to just kind of fluently go through those very tiny gaps. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's harder than it looks. Especially with rockets. Yeah, that could go south very quickly. Yeah, his confidence is crazy. And Zyrinx actually has a quad steal as the very first item pick, taking down Demon and well prepped. Okay. Fazlo trying to get through mid. Is he going to be able to get a, a quick cap here versus Meltdown? That would be insane. Fast just go. Is he just wondering, is it safe? It isn't just yet, but they're going to get the kill on wins and oh averages. Going to take the first cap. What were you saying, Faz, about being uh, so the underdogs? Double quad, first items, and they got the steal. Yeah. That's uh, impressive. Anyways. And maybe a little bit lucky getting that double quad. Uh, communication breakdown, I think, for, for, for R&D. Oh, it's very deliberate out of, out of the averages. They knew what they were doing with that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, first cap up here very, very quickly, and that's going to immediately force Meltdown to blink a couple of times ago. Okay, we actually need to be awake for this map. Definitely. Yeah. These guys are no slouch. I'm going to go check out uh, Lincoln a bit, who's actually managed to get into base. There's two of them here. What is their exit route going to be? There's only shotgun for Lincoln. He might want to collect a rocket launcher as he got out the gardens, or he might just want to rush out the gardens. He doesn't have much time. Knocked this nice. in his way, but he deals with it nicely. Baz is still there. And he's going to be able to make it happen. He can do close range and long range kills, apparently. Got assaulted. Lincoln again. Machine gun damage, not so shabby. And he's got a teammate, as you can see, through the wall there. That's right. They want to time their attacks nicely. That was a good read from Noctis there. It was all right. Zyrinx getting their own quad. And we have the other item coming up here. Who's going to get the grab? It's going to be Faz getting a regen. Okay, so this time we have a little bit more of a pedestrian uh, item set up here. That first double quad was just so brutal. Yeah, Meltdown are going to have to work hard to recover from this. I hope, though, the averages don't do exactly what they did in the TDM, where they just seem to go really passive, like, right, we've got to leave, hold on to it, you know, and play far too defensive and give too many opportunities to Meltdown. Nice, rail out of Zyrinx. But uh, that initial cap, and especially that the quad runs for it, meant that uh, everybody on Meltdown died right off the bat. You know, we had a lot of early fatalities on what would otherwise be these defending uh, players, so we still have a lot of opportunities. Yeah, he was going to get that rail. See that coming a mile away. Uh, but we got Meltdown now getting that return, and uh, Demon is going to get pulled down as Lincoln just wants to push forward and turn this return into maybe a grab. As he's got Sparty to take down, and Sparty is dead. That is a huge wall to take down, and Lincoln might have an exit here. Wow. What was that rail? Very Noctis. Nice Gonna get pulled flick. down. 
going for the 225s. Okay, they're taking their time. That's it's taking a lot of time right now. Cute. A That's solid cute. rail there, <laughs> and Sparty just catching him from behind for the last 20 points of damage. They kind of they kind of slow down a lot and are hoping for some good information from uh, their forward forward D, and just didn't get it. Noctis now, he's got a touch. He's got Demon beside him. I loved watching the last map what Noctis was doing to stop the, the flag run. He was just so sneaky and intelligent. Yeah. Demon's there to attempt the relay, but it's not going to happen. That's a shutdown push, but on Jab Castles, the pushes are almost never over. There's always pressure somewhere, and Demon is keeping that pressure up indeed. With the power-ups coming out. Yeah, this is the right choice for sure. Oh, but Demon getting taken on down. That's going to leave only one player up to potentially get the steal. It's going to be Sparty back there. Trying to actually defend his own as MD is trying to turn the tables now, and Toxic is going to be getting their own quad back, taking it back here. He doesn't really have anything to gain, and Faz will be getting their own regen. So again, much more normal item timings here. Tox is good armor. He might want to attack on this. Doesn't take much damage from Demon, which is, again, very good, but he's got Zarynx. He's got Winds ahead of him. And maybe Lincoln as well, so... Does anybody know any he's going to be here? None of, them, none of them are alive. They're all dead. You can see the corpses in front, so he's on his own. He's got the regen. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, this plasma is destroying people. And Sparty's just going to walk into it. He oh. keeps doing damage, but knocked us with a point-blank shotgun blast. It's over. Excellent. Well, for the time being, as you mentioned, that did mean that everybody on the Avengers died. It's the first time in a long time that that's happened. We've got 9 and 7 for Faz, 15-7 uh, for Sparty, who's going to be playing that defense. And since that first run, uh, Toxic really hasn't died all that often. He's 10 and 5 now. Yeah, he's trying to make reparations uh, to his game after giving up that 1-0 so quickly. I don't one health to knock this, can't get any extra damage. Go look at Faz, uh, what he's uh, getting up to. Got a big defense. Nice. Will go full, and that's over as well. Looks like all. they're just trying to reassert their dominance here on their own base, but here comes Lincoln to try to make something else happen. Sparty's going to be tough here, but nice shotgun. The shotgun play this weekend has just been phenomenal. I love how he's just a float closer to his jump, so he's not going to fire the shotgun until he's very, very close to the defender. Getting the maximum amount of damage. Zyrex, though, he's got touch Ooh. against mailed out. 18 health. He's, he's very mad quick. about that. Yeah. Oh, wow. Sparty pulling it in, and Winds is there on the response, actually, with the yellow arm respond up and Sparty above. Winds might be able to sneak out. Oh, <laughs> we have corpses raining. It's not a good sign when you see a dead teammate wow. coming down first, but he's able to take them both down, and he took very little damage in the meantime. This that might was be not a good rocket he jump. He really wants win. yellow armor. He might be asking too much to get that, but he's able to cross over to his own garden here, and we're going to have one enemy spawned up, but not be being able to get too much out of it, and we might well have this tied back up here one to one if Sparty is to make his way back in. Sparty, Sparty doesn't care where he uh, is told to be, he just knows where he needs to be. But there's no one in his way anymore. One to one wins. Making things a, a little better, healing the team up there with confidence and morale. And I wonder what went wrong for uh, averages just there. Hmm. Just what able to get a grasp like Wind being able to get into base with a very solid stack. I mean, he got through mid with only really one guy in the way. Well, I, I think the uh, Avengers were ready for that flag exit. What they weren't ready for was just a, a guy with a shotgun taking down everybody Yeah. in the garden. And they, they didn't get the spawns that allowed them to really body block them anymore, so that was it. I'm sure what Lincoln's doing is he's got to attack soon. Main offensive player here. We've got as uh, the best attacking player in Europe, at least. Nice. Possibly in the world after this tournament. A little bit of a lull here. But we'll see what happens. That we'll say about that. Oh, and we got Noctis. I mean, lulls are Noctis' favorite. He can sneak in and get this grab, but it's going uh, to be Zyrinx yeah. getting that pullback. And I, again, I like Zyrinx being in that position that he is. He's going to be hyper aware of the entire base. 50% rail for playing inside. Sure, that's cool. <laughs> oh, but Zyrenx is taking on down. Demon is just being absolutely demonic now. 14 health, he's going to be dropping off the flag for a teammate. He's like, hey, no, 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 no come, no, come no, on, man. <laughs> the flag, dude. The flag. <laughs> that, get that, yeah. Thank you, Noctis. I, I Noctis hope that doesn't anyway. cost them too much. He's able to take away that 50, but he needs an exit. Oh, he can't rocket jump. A little bit. And Lincoln, he was so patient at the last round. I was like, oh, he's still not shooting me the rocket. I've just got this. Ensure my crosshair is firmly glued to the red box. Jeez. So I wonder how that would have played if Noctis had picked up the flag sooner. 
He was ready to break out to the garden. And it looks like there's a lot of uh, extra attention being paid to the items now. They're being just picked up. There's no more chance for a steal at this point. We haven't even seen a fight on the items here for a little while. It's going to be Sparty on a regen, and we're going to see Lincoln with the quad. Is Lincoln going anywhere with that? Yes, he, he is. is. But they, they're ready for him. Right. Yeah, they're already getting a lot of fire. He's going to try to rail down here, but uh, now they definitely know he's, he's there. there. We have two, three players collapsing in on him to take him down. Is that just going to give frags over? Well, Baz is going to be the one standing up. Baz has got a great stack at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Decently down here. Uh, skip across again. All right, so Team is making a play. Zyrinx is going to be weak. He's really desperate to get that last pellet of damage off, but he's not quite going to get it. Wins. Same situation. Demon left with only... Seven health before he goes down. As we are very close to our halfway point, tied one to one. I mean, again, we haven't seen these guys play each other in CTF, and even by Faz's own admission, Meltdown has been the favorite so far, but hey, a tied game in the first half of this match? That's, yep. a, that's a pretty decent outing here. No, it's looking very good at the moment. And it wasn't, certainly wasn't a crossing victory on the road to quite common when they went versus each other either. Sparty pushing out. One player coming through mid, a second as well. Faz expecting people to come in now. Wind's not able to get the yellow armor. We've got knocked into the black there. Lincoln as well. And there are teammates together still. Blue flag returned. And, and we only like have the flag flags returned. in Lincoln's turn as he tries to through the garden. And Demon is down. They're all going to know he's there. Knock this. Oh no, it's going to be Wind's that. Whoa! Wow. He killed Wind's. Faz did. Okay. That was extremely close though. So we're going to be waiting for items to come up. And again, the timing is still fairly close, and uh, each team has been getting their own item. Once again, no uh, no real pressure on this as wins. It's going to be getting either regen, regen or quad. It's going to be regen. And it's going to be Noctis with the quad. Noctis with the quad is going to be very this dangerous. This is going to be a time for him to push forward. He, I'm sure he wishes he had more of a stack, but this is not an opportunity for him to miss. So this would be very dangerous if somebody like Lincoln gets in his way. So there's, okay, 50 and 50 now. He's still got plenty of time to make good use of his quad. But Lincoln is again going to be the thorn in his side, allowing Wins to get in close and shut down that quad runner. Giving it over to Zyrus, actually. You see Zyrus go quad too often. He's making good use of it. He's not got enough time with the quad, though, to really take down all the defenders. So Faz really trying to hold on at the moment. Faz, the flag does get taken. Faz and Co. Faz and Sparty able to hold it together. Yeah, Faz has just been incredibly consistent here. Especially with that shotgun, jeez. Can't wait to see them play Doom. <laughs> Noctis. Noctis in the end. Zyrinx down. I mean, Zyrinx is actually, he's been playing a little bit out of position a lot here, hasn't he? It's kind of difficult to hold that in Japanese castles with the uh, with the spawns being what they are, but usually the solution to that is not to die. Solution to all successful here. Yeah, yeah. well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 12 minutes in and still one on one. Neither team is committing more than the one or two uh, flag runners. They don't, they're not attacks. under that large amount of pressure to make sure not they yet. have that cap yet, though. If they're chasing right. a lead, then you know you, you feel that sense of urgency. You mm -hmm. don't want to wait too long and make sure that, and well, to prevent yourself from having to chase a, a lead. Yeah. Looks like the averages just want to play by their own book and see if anything comes of it. Yeah. I mean, it's very standard with uh, sort of a pincer maneuver going across into the enemy base. He's not just getting a massive rocket there from Zyrinx, but they've taken him out. And the room is clear. Noctis can grab this and potentially go. Toxic is there. He's going to be able to take him on down. Yeah, and you could tell that it wasn't going to be a safe staircase if he pushed out there either. But now he's fucked. Ooh. I like that it'll jump out from here. That was beautiful. Oh, he gets the rail, but there's another player as well. We've got the uh, power ups in play now as well. The outdoor spawns just make it so difficult to know that you're going to be able to get through mid easily. It's, mid is always a gamble here. And you try to get that speed from a rocket jump, but you never know when somebody's going to spawn right in front of you. Oh. Oh. Tight. <laughs> I agree. Uh, Lincoln, though, he had a master stack just a moment ago. But it's just completely disappeared. I feel like he had wins in front of him, and it's, I don't know why he was waiting for him for so long. He just he just stayed at the top. He's like, wins, you got this. Going one versus two. I felt like Lincoln, was a lethargic play, he didn't want to push forward too quickly. Sparty had everything but weapons and teammates and stack. He had nothing, actually. 
But he's not going to let that get him down. He's going to go for this once again. He's just looking for the time. He's looking for the opportunity. He's looking to get word from, okay, is it time to grab a weapon and go? Or do we need to start worrying about mid a little bit more here? My demon Ooh, trying to make geez. his way across as well. It's going to be so frustrating. He's like, yeah, I'm ready for this. I know exactly what my capabilities are, but then you get railed in mid and you have to reconsider everything. Demon has a bunch of weapons for every time he decides to attack, it, so he should be able to get some good damage without having to completely commit himself to the to the box. Now look Although at this, we've got wins with a teammate and with a yellow armor. Still biding his time here before going over to the garden, and you know that that choke point is going to be full of avatars. Oh, the plasma from wins. Oh, where, where are they? It's actually kind of empty here, but Sparty's up top trying to make this happen. Here comes the jump pad from wins. He could make it back in. He's eager to get into the room, and wow. it's an empty room, okay. and there it is. Two on one now for Meltdown. Oh, that seemed pretty easy. He went through the gardens and... It did seem easy. It didn't seem like <laughs> a problem whatsoever. I think his teammates were just able to handle the pressure off the spawns quite easily. Yeah. And he just made it across. You know, he wasn't sort of lulling around. It was very fast to get back to base. And Meltdown with the lead. Uh, I mean, this is, this is a map that averages really need to win. Uh, we got double items now for Demon and Faz now. Where did that region actually go? Oh, Zyrex actually took it off of him, but it was stolen initially. You can see that they're now having to react to the fact that they're down by a single cap and they have to put more pressure on these items, more pressure on the top end of these bases. And Faz now with the last bit of that quad. Oh! oh. oh it's got the shot. Oh, the rockets though, long range. Just finding his opponent very nicely, linking that with the last seconds of quad. Toxic is always going to have Toxic up his own sleeve. He's just there to depend on. So final and a half minutes here, and Avengers need to take this cap back. He's running out of time at the moment. I wonder if it's got to be the next power ups that Avengers are going to have to put something together. Three players attacking. It, it seems like with the last round of power ups, they were able to take away that steel at will. They, he wasn't able to keep a hold of that regen, but you might see them up there once again. It'll be another minute before we see that happen, though, and by that time, the, the, the distance will be very short. Yeah. As Demon and Noxus trying to get the attacks going, I think Sparta and Faz are going to have to pull out a lot further. There it is, and together once again. Just spamming that plasma over, Demon not very strong at that point, with the amount of health <laughs> that he has. Yeah, those rockets were a little, uh, little skewy. But hey, he gets a great spawn in the garden. These rockets are on oh. point, he gets popped up into the air and locked there as well. I'm sure he's just biding time for these items, but Noctis is not going to be wasting any time at all. He's eager to get out of here and into the base. They're attacking one at a time now. Demon is already in the base. It's just a, a little slow. He's this is great. Noctis, oh, so this is beautiful there. from Noctis. What he's doing right here, he's making sure that he is the center of attention before items come up. So as they come up, well, it would have been nice if he survived a little bit longer. We might see, okay, wins with the quad damage. That's dangerous. But Lincoln's got the flag, more importantly. He's going to try and do something with this. If wins is going to work with him, being able to stretch the loot to 3-1 might pull it out of reach. But we've got Noctis, who's got a quad as well. Wins just trying to kill himself. I think he wants to get to a defender, maybe can't find his bind. Yeah. It's right next to KGB's medkit bind. I think Noctis is just expecting the quad to come nearby and he's just not finding it. And <laughs> why the hell can't I find it? They, they I have quad, you have quad, let's do this. You're not, play, you're not playing the game right. <laughs> wow. So neither of those quads really meant it's anything. Because, it's because all <laughs> MD were doing is they were keeping the quad in defense. Yeah. And all averages were doing was expecting them to bring quad to mid so that they could kill them Which and have a fight really mid. Which is really ballsy considering the fact that there are only one cap up. I mean, that's usually where I say, keep doing what you've been doing. Keep doing what's been working so far. Changing that much is a little bit, a bit tricksy, but it did work this time, obviously. What it means, though, is that for averages to come back in this, it's pretty much going to come down to uh, the last lot of power-ups. And that's kind of what I was hoping they'd have to avoid at that point. And if people like Lincoln can keep pressure on for the next minutes and keep their stacks low mm -hmm. before those pops come up, then yeah, it's going to be a, a tough battle for the averages. Yeah, it's like nothing can go Oh, wrong. here they come, though. Oh, wow, okay. Here's, like this, this is the party. They're no breaks waiting. on this train. Oh, well, maybe there are toxic. They do it again, do it again. It's still 30 seconds. They can, they can certainly send another fleet of people towards him. Demon having a go at it himself. Maybe spawning a little closer than his teammates. Wins with a touch. He's got five points of health. I kept forgetting about Toxic there, and uh, he's always there to say the final no. Oh, Noctis, so damn weak. He kept the brilliant what? rocket through the window. What? I had a little, little midi there. Okay, that's cool. 
But it's power ups in five seconds. Yeah, I think they're, they're trying, to, trying to steal the opponent's power. But they're up. also weak. Okay. Was that Faz able to? Uh, no, it's Demon who's going to be on the quad. And it's actually a good steal. Yeah, that's really nice. But where's the the other power up? Sparty's going to get Sparty. So double power here ups here. This is what gave them their very first capital, their only cap so far. We have Lightning that struck at the beginning Sparty. and now at the very end of the match. Sparty's Can defending they with it though. They're not throwing double power up into the base. That's this okay. Very conservative because they know they cannot afford to get a cross cap at all. And Noctis and Demon taking a bit of time and getting railed up from the top. That's awful news for them. Demon is going to get the flag, but he can't get railed again. He's got Sparty in front of him. He's going to get railed from the bottom. Sparty, though, he's got a bit of health left. The Cavs, they might even meet each other in mid. Where is the other flag? Wins, Wins is in the garden. He can just... Uh, well, they don't, he can just still plant himself seconds. there. It's still 30 seconds. Noctis can still try and get across. He's got all his mates with him. But where the hell is the other flag? It's been returned, actually. Sparty, he needs to get back immediately. They can still tie this game up. 15 <laughs> seconds, where are all the MD players? He They're needs coming an in escort front. here. He's done it. Oh They're my take god. It two, two. <laughs> Averages are still in this on their map pick. And There's Spot has got a decent stack. That really just kind of cautious, rather fearful jump over that jump pad. Like, don't hit the jump pad, please don't hit the jump pad. <laughs> That, I, I like the play though from Average, how they worked for that. They managed to get both quads meltdown. They kind of, I don't, they gave up their power up too easily. But I think it's just because of the amount of strength that Average has put into uh, into securing it. How does that happen? We had it's also sending Sparty back so that he yeah, can take yeah. care of wins when he's. No, going it for it made sense. I mean, with the spawns here, it, it's a good good to deploy that quad as the flag is coming back, to make sure it can get in safely. But man, we had we had double quad with the steal by the averagers at minute one, mm -hmm. and the very last one was also double quad with the steal. Nothing like that in between. Let's Is that their we strategy? Can. We wait for double quad. Yeah, yeah I mean, that, that must be it. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, there's so many assumptions in the averagers playbook, but hey, it's got them tied up now. They're, they're really strategizing well on the fly, though. To be honest. Yeah. yeah. I like what they've been doing. And then this quad, for this uh, power up, is going to go to Sparty. I wonder what he's going to do with this because mm. now we're getting the respawn delay and it's starting. It's not too much right now. Well, now there's the a good. Uh, there will be. There's a good 11 seconds between they're each quad. Defending. So they're, they're both being horrendously boring. And oh no! Sparty no, just kills no. himself because Sparty had had 11 seconds of lead on Toxic Squad. But they like uh, sure you could drop it and delay it a little bit, but he would have had the quad a lot longer. Well, the Toxic did, did this, exactly the same thing. They just yeah. both stood with it in base. I think that will. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> They'll will both settle it uh, later on when the when the respawn delay is at a point where you know a full team wipe is basically game over. That's exactly where the TDM skill oh, they will did come save in. it. What the hell did they hide it? Do you have to pick it up usually within 10 seconds or it disappears? Faz has got a massive stack. He's going to try and uh, maybe break into the base, but there's so few seconds nice. left. He's just he's going to back off. He's like, I've still got a good defensive stack. Let's not do anything too rash right now. We should have uh, five seconds now, I think. Five seconds respawn today. The averagers have shown themselves to be very good at making this conservative sort of game work. Oh, Dwins wasn't able to steal away that yellow. And Tox is able to... Sorry, Sparty's able to stack up a bit. If you want to compare what I'm seeing you know, out of the averagers here with you know what we'd see out of uh, Break, um, you know Break is definitely about living in that moment, you know rushing in, getting in, uh, just keeping the pressure on the flag until something breaks, and you're able to make that cap. Here, the averagers are definitely playing the long game. They're seeing the big picture here. Yeah. But well, they still have to make it work. This is an important map for them to win. They are massive underdogs in this, to be honest. Uh, yeah, massive, yeah. maybe an unfair. Word, but definitely big underdogs. Not massive, just big. Yeah. yeah all right. <laughs> Massive's massive bigger than big. <laughs> Thank you. Demon now with uh, plenty of armor here and uh, not a bad selection of weapons. We got Zyrinx with uh, the quads keep quad. coming, don't they? And Zyrinx having it. I mean, is he going to keep it? I mean, he's likely going to be defensive with. I think they've Demon worked out that they've got a regen. So now, if they, now they know yeah. that now yeah. they just have a regen, it's like, yeah, we should really attack. But Zyrinx isn't really that stacked. He's Which not is that good guy news either. for averages. I want to go back over to Zyanx. Yeah, I was expecting him to actually drop it off for another teammate there. Up, oh, you can take down Noctis at the very least. Like he, he was the most stacked one. He's not getting into the box with it at all, so they're going... They're essentially fighting without power-ups at all. Faz is, this, Faz is so stacked. You rarely yeah. see someone that stacked here on this map. And it's very good news for averages. And Tox is looking quite well himself. He's the only one with any significant armor on his team. 
In the meantime, we got three eight from all, now two players <laughs> on average with plenty of armor. Noctis has got a touch. Hox, I think, got distracted a little bit. He's going to try yep. and make it through mid. Is this going to be it? The respawn delays starting to kick in quite a lot oh. of rail from the side. Where did that come one? from? Faz is so stacked, though. He's trying to get back at the moment. No one else in base averages. They make it across 3 2. That was a massively important map for them. They had to do that. Uh, and to be honest, the amount they struggled on the online tournament, this is a really big result for them. They are going to be so happy with this. I think I have to redub the averagers. I need to call them. Wait for it. Don't <laughs> wait don't, for don't, it. Don't, don't eat. I'm going to. I'm leaving right now. <laughs> wait for it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Are we going to? Because they on? did. No, no. Um, we're not. It was a. Uh, what was the map two? Ironworks.